when you look at the things that she proposes, they're so far off. She has no clue. How about allowing people to come through an open border, 13,000 of which were murderers, many of them murdered far more than one person, and they're now happily living in the United States. You know, now a murderer, I believe this, it's in their genes, and we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. Okay, so a little bit of uh, white supremacist racial blood DNA science for you. He didn't take out the head calipers and start talking about bad humors or anything. But if it justifies white supremacy, yes, I guess there's just bad genes out there. Not his, his genes are great. I mean, there's no visual evidence of some sort of genetic advantage that he possesses or anything, but he'd certainly imply it. And so uh, he knows that there's millions of murderers that have come in the country, even though that's not a thing, that's not true. Also, he knows that most of them have killed multiple people. So the country <laughs> has been flooded with millions of serial killers, okay? Again, based on absolutely nothing. And he even knows why they do it. It's just the way they were born. And look, all of this is insane and conspiratorial, but there is a purpose to it. First of all, to scare the hell out of right wingers. Um, Trump does not want them focusing on the fact that crime rates are going down, violent crime rates are going down. And indeed, when you ask voters who they trust more on the topic of crime, Kamala Harris now leads him in the most recent polling on that particular topic. That has got to scare the hell out of him. He also wants people to just see migrants, migrants from Latin America, South America, maybe other places as just genetically broken. They can never be a part of our society because deep down in their blood, in their bones, there is something murderous and barbaric and primitive about them. It's disgusting. It should be below us, was, but this is America, so obviously it's not. Yeah, it's 2024 and our president is spewing the talking points of eugenicists from the 1920s. Uh, the idea that there are people out there of different races who have quote unquote inferior genes, you know, defective genes, et cetera. Like it's it's a joke. I don't think anybody takes this fool seriously when it comes to, you know, that kind of disgusting, hyper racialized talk. But, you know, he thinks he has a constituency on immigration. And, you know, I will say, like, I don't want to be like everybody else on the left or everybody progressive. Not everybody, I should say, but a lot of people that just brush it off as a nothing issue. I think it is an issue to a lot of people on the fringes of deciding between Democrats and Republicans, right? Like the quote unquote undecided person. I think, I don't think everybody's is foaming at the mouth, sick in the head as Donald Trump and wants to just round up every immigrant and anybody who's kind of on the borderline, you just walk up to them and ask them for their freaking papers before our freaking Gestapo puts them in a van and hauls them off somewhere. I don't think everybody's on board with that. In fact, I know that not to be the case. However, I do think people are like, look, man, people are coming in. We're a sovereign nation. We should have some level of order to how we let people in. It should be a process. It should be fairly speedy. You know, we should, you know, as a country discern who we let in and who we don't. And even the people that are already here have some pathway to citizenship so they could, you know, not be exploited by employees. I mean, employers, excuse me, um, and, and, you know, pay some taxes and, and get some benefits and stuff like that. And so I think Donald Trump thinks he's speaking to a constituency. I just personally, and I don't, I'm not just being, you know, Pollyanna about this or just being pie in the sky. I don't personally think Americans are as bloodthirsty and foaming at the mouth like xenophobic racist as Donald Trump's rhetoric would suggest. I hope that you're right. And I am a person who does want to be exactly like everyone else on the left. I just signed me up for that. Uh, but no, I agree with you there. Uh, and I also think there should be a process. I think that, look, if there are literally millions of serial killers trying to get in, Fine, <laughs> but they have to wait in line. We have to process and hear out each of the serial killers because there's so many of them coming through the border.